So this is the second video in our sequence of showing how to implement the Fibonacci function. In this video, I'm going to use Kali saved registers as opposed to caller saved registers. And that'll benefit us in functions like Fib, where there's multiple function invocations from the same function. So here were our guidelines for implementing the recursion with caller saved registers. Uh, look at the previous video for me to follow those. And here are the changes for implementing with call e save. The uh, areas in red are what's changed. And so a lot of it's the same. So again, handling the base case first, allocating the stack frame, saving the return address, all the same. Also deallocating the stack frame and the return and doing the return is the same. So we're gonna leave that code from our previous implementation and I'm gonna re-implement the middle part, steps four through seven. So the first step is to save enough S registers to hold our local variables. So here's our code, we've created our stack. So the code here on the right is the original caller saved and the code on the left is gonna be our callee saved version. So I've done the base case, I've created the stack and I've saved the return address. At this point, we need to allocate, just free up enough S registers for our uh, local variables. So S0 we haven't used yet, but since it's callee saved, we need to save it before we use it. At this point, we only have one register that we uh, know we're gonna need throughout the function, that's N, so we're gonna save one uh, S register to uh, save the old value of S0. At this point, we can now move A0 into S0 for future use. So we've done that. So copy our local variables to the S register, we did that. Now for each function call, we no longer need to save that variable. We just need to compute arguments and call the function and consume any return values. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna copy from the code on the right. We've set up N minus one. We could have copied it from either A0 or S0. We'll do it, F, well, we'll do it from A0. That's fine, and we're calling fib. At this point, um, we need to save the previous value of, of that call. So we'll go ahead and do that. In this case, um, there's really no benefit since this value is only gonna be used uh, once, um, saved on the stack once. Uh, there's no benefit to saving it to an S register, so I'll just save it to V0. Um, and that is, I've consumed the return value, now I'm ready to do the second function call. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut and paste this again. This time to set up n minus two, I just need to copy out of S0 that you can see that I don't need to restore this from the stack because it's already in an S register. It's saved for me. Um, so there, boom, I've got my uh, I've got my argument set up and I call the function. Now I need to consume the return value. So I still need to bring this value back off the stack. And again, I'm gonna bring it into a different register, in this case, T0. And I'm ready to do this addition. So that's our return value. And now we're ready to be done, except we need to restore the previous value of S0. So again, we're gonna convert our store into a load. And we've returned S0 to the way it was before our function was called. Um, so that means that you know, we were able to use S0 in the body of our function, but by restoring its value, the function, any function that called us before that had a value, its own value in S0, we've restored that value back to the way it was. So this is a callee saved, and that means callee restored register. So if you look at this, the resulting code is roughly the same length, pretty close. My claim is that the key advantage is that more of my code 
ends up in this uh, boilerplate part. So the creating the stack and saving things to the stack and restoring the stack. Um, this stuff is easy. This code is super easy to write. This is, you know, this is requires, it's basically a template that there's very little thought that goes into it. Most of your thought is in this part. Um, and what we've effectively done is we've moved a lot of the save and restore code out of that part of the code that we've moved that those saves and restores out from the body of the code into this prologue and epilogue. Um, and in that way, we've simplified the code. And you'll see that if you write functions that, that need to save many values, it'll make this code much smaller and much easier to debug.